accomplish in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth on behalf of Apostle Stephen Curtis Andrews, his family, the entire leadership and membership here at St. John's Pentecostal House of Restoration Ministries. I say a wonderful good morning to all in the house, to all that are tuned in via the internet, via YouTube, via Facebook, and for those that are listening by the radio station, today it's a wonderful, glorious, anointed breakthrough day, and we believe that today we're going to receive what heaven have in store for us. It's a good, 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 good day. Put your hands together if you know this is the day that you will receive an extra blessing. This morning we are going to start in a different mode. We call upon wrong ministries and we are going into a time of reflection as we go into this time of reflection, wherever you are in the house online, we will not be afraid. Log in to what we are seeing on the screen and let our spirits just reflect upon God this morning because it's not we ourselves who have brought ourselves to this position, but it's our King, our Lord, our Savior who sees and knows and looks after us so turn your attention to the screen as we go into a time of reflection this morning god bless you
Hallelujah. Rum Ministries, could you please just run those back again for us as we again make these reflections audible this morning as we join together. We have reflected, but we want the sound in the house this morning. We want to raise the sound in the house this morning. Let's stand. Let's stand together this morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. And yes, our strength may be sapped. Yes, we may be tired from the cares of this world. But this morning we got a strength from our God because he is our refuge and our strength. Hallelujah. We declare in this house, from this place, from this position today, in the name of Jesus, that fear will not be our portion. We will not fear. In the name of Jesus, we declare that nothing will rob our joy. We speak it in the east, the west, the north, and the south. Nothing will steal my peace. I declare it. I contend against the contention in the name of Jesus. Nothing will bring me to the wells of frustration where I keep drinking and drinking, but I will drink from the wells of joy and bed in the streams of peace. We speak it in the east, the west, the north and the south in the name of Jesus. We are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. In the month of June we will not be afraid. Fear will not be our portion. In the month of June we will have joy and nothing will rob our joy in June. Nothing will steal our peace. We stand at the gates. Nothing in the month of June will make us drink from the wells of frustration. We will not drink from the wells of frustration, but we will drink from the wells of joy. And we will bathe in the streams of peace. So whatever the enemy is planning, whatever the enemy is sending, we cancel it at the beginning of June in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every spirit that has come to block our joy, we declare the joy of the Lord is our strength. They have come to frustrate us. They have come to steal our joy. They have come to weaken even our physical strength. But it's not by our might, not by our power, but it's by the Spirit of Almighty God. We press, we press, we press, we press against the press, we press against the opposition, we press against fear, we press against opposition, we press against weakness, and we declare that we win, we win, we win, we win, we win in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Who are you, uncircumcised Philistine, that here come to defy the army of the living God? Today we cut the head of our enemies. Today we cut the head of our Goliath. We declare that they will fall. Our words and our prayer, it goes out like the stone in David's sling. It will bring down our Goliath. So we declare it and we decree it. Joy is our portion. Strength is our portion. We will live. We will not die in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. You see, we stand this morning declaring and decreeing that which the Lord has said. And I just want to reflect this morning upon love. And just for a moment, let us think about love. 
It is said in the scriptures, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. You see, the world is so wonderful. If you know the world is a wonderful place, put your hands together and let me hear your voice. Life is so beautiful. Every moment is so precious. Living is so worth it because of love. Amidst the hurt and the pain, the mistrust, the deceit and lies, in the face of evil, hatred, jealousy, envy and crime, there is still love. Tell your neighbor, there is still love. In spite of disaster, heartbreak and wars, the skies are still blue. The sun still shines brightly. The white clothes, clouds float aimlessly upon the gentle breeze. And there is love. Love is power. Love brings hope. Love brings meaning. Love in abundance is what we see all around us. In spite of the evil and what the enemy is perpetrating, we know that there is a God and our God is love. There is love in abundance, enough for the sharing. And though at times love seem hard to find, it's demonstrated to the savior of all mankind. But by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, that you love one another. Love will always conquer, and love will always find love. This morning I admonish you, don't matter what the situation, don't matter what you're up against, think and love. The scripture says, the greatest is love. Father, we give you praise and honor and glory today. Upon this first Sunday of June, we declare that you are God in this house, that you are God of our apostle, that you are God of his family. We declare that you are God of this ministry. God over our worshipers, you are God of the musicians, the technicians, the ushers, the bus drivers, the sanctuary attendants. We acknowledge you in this house as God and Lord and Father and Maker and Master of us all. So we honor you. We give you praise in this place. Let the month of June be kind unto us. Already our, our apostle have spoken to the month. And again we speak declaring that June will bring us our blessings. That June will be kind to us. That the gates of favor will be open over us in the month of June. We declare in the month of June we will run. We will not be weary. We will walk and we will not faint. We declare in the month of June that we will run through troops and we will scale walls. We declare success over our family in the month of June. We declare that that which God has ordained for us will be accomplished. We are strong. We are vibrant. And and we win, we triumph in the month of June. Oh, June, bring us our blessing. Oh, June, bless Antigua, bless Barbuda, bless our leaders, bless our churches, bless our businesses, bless our economy, bless the land. Oh, June, 
we cry out, we speak blessings into you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we cancel every evil plan, every evil assignment, every evil dart, every evil arrow. And we say it is well for us, it is well in Antigua and Barbuda, it is well in our homes, it is well in our marriages, it is well in the city, it is well in the streets, oh June, let your blessing fall, coming straight from the throne room of heaven. Let the gates of heaven be open over us in this month and let the land be kind to us in Jesus' name. Father, let your will be done in this house today and let your kingdom come in Jesus' name. Amen.
the Lord. Say mercy of the Lord. All right. We did this song a few weeks ago. We're going to do it again for you. I expect you to move with me, sing with me as we cry out to God for mercy.
victory. Thank you for your favor, Lord, and thank you for your mercy. We believe in you and we trust in you, God, that you'll make a way out of where there seems to be no way. You will make a way where there seems to be no way. You will bring light in our darkness situation, oh God. You are there for us always. You're faithful, God. You're loving, God. The steadfast love of the Lord, it never ceases. But it is new every morning. Great is our God's faithfulness.
into the sea if we believe if we believe whatever we put our hands to it will prosper if we believe we will be like a tree planted by the rivers of living waters if we believe that our God will supply our needs according to his riches in glory he said it we believe I believe Lord I believe I believe Lord you have plans for us plans to prosper us plans to take us to your expected end we believe we believe we believe that we are healed we believe that we are well we believe that we win we believe that we overcome we believe that God will have his way in our life we believe that our marriage will be healed we believe our bodies are healed we believe there will be peace in our nation we believe it is well with our leaders with our pastors with their families we believe we believe we believe you said it Lord and because you said it we believe it you're not a man that you should lie but whatever you say oh God it will be accomplished. You love us more than we ever know. You have great plans for us more than we could ever think that we can accomplish. You said it. We believe it. Now put your hands together for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the way maker, the promise keeper, the King of Kings, Lord. Glorious one, hallelujah, hallelujah, he said it and we believe it, it doesn't matter what the enemy is whispering in your ears, it doesn't matter what your neighbor is saying, in some relationship it doesn't matter what the husband is saying that is negative against you. For those that are against you coming to church and serving God. For some, you had a battle leaving the house this morning. But Jesus says that you are my child. He says, come and I worship. He said, cast your cares upon me and I will give you rest. He said it. Believe it this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah you for your word Lord we thank you for your promises Lord we thank you for your precepts and we thank you that you are a promise keeping God put your hands together for our God one more time we declare that there's a breakthrough because he said it and we believe it have your seat just for a brief minute. I want to ask all the youths that are doing the grade six national assessment exams this week, please come forward. All the youths that are doing the national assessment, grade six national assessment exams, please come forward. We're going to pray. We're going to touch. We're going to agree this morning and for those that are listening and viewing online and you have a child you're not here your family is not here and your son or your daughter is doing the grade six national assessment i want you to stand wherever you are stand proxy for your son and your daughter 
as we pray if you're in the sanctuary this morning and your son or your daughter is doing the grade six national assessment exam stand proxy because this morning the case just let me allow these are our grade six students standing yes. before you. Yes. And for the past years, Sister Donnett has been the teacher that is assigned to grade six students at Divine Academy of Excellence Primary School. We have always come in the top hundred. You can clap like you like us, even if you pretend. Last exam, we came second in the nation. We were beaten by a few marks. So this year, we're looking for number one. I just want the church to know who's standing before them. Do I have a church who agree we're looking? I don't know who it's coming from, darn it, but we're looking for number one. Do I have a church who agree? Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So now Minister McKinnon will take his time and pray for them and the others. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you today for these young ones. These young ones are the future of our nation and the future of nations. Father God, upon them, Lord God, the hope of this nation rests. Father God, upon them, Lord God, that would be raised up as teachers and preachers and evangelists and prophets and doctors and lawyers. These are yes. the ones. So as we bring them before you today, as the students of Divine Academy of Excellence, grade six, along with their grade six teacher stand, they represent also students all across the nation of Antigua and Barbuda. And by so doing today, we speak a blessing over our youths in grade six in Antigua and Barbuda. We snatch them back, Lord God, from the hands of the enemy, oh God. We speak over these grade six students today, oh God, in Antigua and in Barbuda. We declare success is your portion. We curse failure in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth as failure would be behind them and not in front of them. We declare that they will run fast and far and failure will not be their portion. Lord God, we ask that you arise over grade six students. Let there be a shifting and a change from this generation going forth, oh God. Let there be a different mindset. Let there be a different sense of purpose and pride within them, oh God. Let the gates of excellence be open over the kids that are doing grade six national assessment. Let the gates of success be their portion. My Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray, oh God, that your spirit would rest upon every student. Give them a calm in their spirit. Give them confidence, Lord God. Give them peace of mind. Bring back to their memories everything that they would have learned. Father, we curse every blockage, every spirit, oh God, of contention every distraction that would want to come against them. We curse it now in the name of Jesus. Let divine focus be their portion. Let the gates of blessing be open over them today, oh God. Let the gates of success be open 
over every student, over every school. Let that which is our portion, divine academy of excellence portion, be established this time, this season. Your school that you have ordained, that you have set at the forefront, this through this national assessment, we take up our rightful place as leaders. We take up our rightful place as number one. As we mold the minds of the children, as we cover them, as we speak into their lives. Lord God, as they would do well this year, let our institution be exalted by the power of the blood of Jesus. We declare top 100 for our students. We declare blessing over the other students, over the other schools, and let Antigua and Barbuda rest upon the students that are doing these exams. We bless them this day in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Lord, go with them, bless them, keep them, Cause their, your face to shine upon them. Lift up your countenance over them, O oh God. And we ask that you grant them peace. Grant them comfort. Grant them the strength. Grant them the dexterity. Grant them the confidence needed. And let your angels go with every student into the exam. And assist them in Jesus' name. We bless them. We bless them. We bless them. Hallelujah. We go back to this. It's a wonderful time. And over our youths, we declare that there will be a shift, that they will be the strong ones to turn the battle back at the gates. New time, new season, new generation. Stand with me this morning as we invite our worshipers to lead us back to the throne of grace, after which we will hear the voice of our esteemed apostle, Apostle Stephen Curtis Andrews. God bless you. Through the blood of the Lamb. 
worship you. I worship, worship you, Jesus. I do. Lord, Lord, I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. I worship Jesus. Holy, we say, holy, we say, Lord, in reverence we worship you, for your name is holy, holy, Lord. I want everybody to say, Lord, I worship you. Come on and say, Lord, I worship you. I worship you, Lord, I worship you, I worship you, Jesus, I
Your name is holy and matchless. Your name is powerful and wonderful and majestic and we honor your name. God, your name is holy. Just give him a minute just to move over this congregation. your seats. There's a few minutes here. Um, I want to honor our worshipers this morning. In the cosmic world and in the world of entertainment, there are those who spend their time and effort and energies either worshiping Satan or worshiping the cosmic world. We who are born again know and have some of the greatest worshipers. I'm in the wrong church this morning in the world and I want you to celebrate all of these musicians and worshipers as if you're celebrating God for them come on come on come on come on come on such an anointing on on rocks and life this morning both of them I don't know why they stop singing when they got a flow. They could just sing all morning, I'd be good. But I thank God for them. I thank God for the grace upon their lives. And I am not in the business of sitting in church and huh, they're not blessing me. Can you sing? Can you sing like they can? No, you cannot. 
Your job is to dance like Dr. Coca dance and stop complaining and celebrate the goodness of God. Am I in the right place? Because you have no idea what it takes to be here Sunday after Sunday, year after year. These people are working people. They are not full-time ministers. They have their everyday jobs. They have their families. They have their own business to do. But yet they come here Sunday after Sunday. I thank you for clapping. And there must be an appreciation coming from the members of the congregation. And a little more encouragement when they're doing worship. Stop looking like statues. And lift your hand, move your body, and dance and celebrate, man. Some of you too dead. Uh-huh. Because they are the ones who are leading us. They were so prophetic this morning. And I was wondering, where was the church? They were prophesying, stuffing, singing. And I'm looking at some people say, they're missing it. They're missing it. You miss your moment when you don't know how and when to tap in. A woman sent me a testimony. I don't even know who the person is. Of her daughter. She received a call that her daughter was stretched out stiff. As if dead. And she just got that call and the first name she called on was Jesus. The woman who has the daughter, that's the daughter? Oh my gosh, I didn't know it was you. That's the child. Stretched out stiff as if dead. She called on the name that is above every name. Lift the child up in the air so they could see what the Lord has done. Somebody get crazy in the house because your miracle is about to come. Somebody who knows the miracle is coming. I want you to get crazy in the house right now. Don't look so sad because your miracle is about to come. This is my month for my miracle. If you believe it, I want you to scream, shout, jump. That's the God we serve. Sit down so we can go home. You see, you don't need to be no big preacher. I don't even know who connects with me at times. You don't need to be no scholar. All you need to know that the month of June will bring you your portion. Hi! I'm in the wrong church. I just told somebody that the month of June will bring you your portion if you believe it, hallow! Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. They tell me, I'll tell you what they told me, that there are 30 days in the month of June. So we have 26 more left. That is the fourth. Somebody hear this. That's the projection. There are 720 hours in the month of June. I don't know what time. I don't know what where in the day. But I've come to tell you June will be kind to you. Somebody just miss me, man. If you're religion, you miss this. I don't care. In those 720 hours, God will bless me in seven seconds, seven minutes, seven days, or seven hours. If you believe it, I want you to grab a hold of it and say, I receive it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, house of restoration. I don't know. It's going to happen on oh, June. Give me my portion. 
Lord, in Jesus' name. Woo! So, listen, 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 listen. Listen in case you don't get the message yet. Ah, the total debt starts for 2023 to date is 27 million 59,000 and 812 people started the year and they are not here 6 million people died from heart disease 1,691 3 million 814,200 died from cancer. One million from chronic lower respiratory disease. And one million three hundred died from death, from stroke. And I could go on and talk about kidney failure and diabetes and influenza and suicide death. But I just came out of the month of May and I'm not dead, I am alive. Somebody not hearing me because God wants me to give him another praise. So I want you to give God the loudest praise in the house. If you are alive, if you are alive, I want you to scream, I made it. I'm not hearing you, I made it. Somebody say I made it. Somebody said, I am a survivor. I am alive. I am alive. I am alive. Tell your neighbor, I am alive. And I have no plan to die right now. Say, I am alive. Woo! Woo! Somebody scream. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Here I come. Here I come. Here I come, dude. Here I come. Here I come. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's go. House of Restoration. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, woo, woo, come on, 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 I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, woo, Now, some of you don't understand, or some of you just don't want to understand. I have seven, well, my projected time in June is 720 hours. I have 43,200 minutes. I got 2,592,000 seconds. And I've come to tell you, you shall live every single one of them in the name of Jesus. I want you to shout, I shall not die, but I shall live. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Take it, seats, take it, seats, take it, seats. 
Dr. J take it since Dr. Jella was here and he came in on Tuesday, 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 Tuesday. Two days on that said day when he came in, a young man <clears throat> left work and went home and had three troubling dreams whereby his life was taken the parents called me he said I want you to interpret the dream for him he said okay but I also want you to pray for him he said okay I picked up the preacher I said meet me at so and so place and I just entered the car with the preacher and I said pray over the young man and the preacher start rebuking death has no idea what's going on didn't explain the dream to him the young man said I still need to talk to you so he called me and I listened to the dream and I said Ugh. the spirit of death is after you it is a sign to take you out but I said I'll do two things we will pray but you need to pray because it's coming for your family and within days after after I prayed with that one and canceled that assignment it went for another one and it took the other one the young man remember what I said to him so I opened my mouth over your life today somebody help me misbehave you shall not die but you shall live and declare the works of the Lord I cancel the assignment of death off of your life somebody scream I shall live tell me Roxy I shall live 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 Christ of Nazareth the man, man remembered what I said to him I said if not you someone who is close to you it's coming but God is not finished with you yet let me talk to people who understand what I'm talking about I don't care what the doctor said to you and I have respect for doctors but you are going to live out the month of June and you're going to go into July and August and September and October and November and December your heart will not give up cancer will not take you up somebody scream I shall live Tell you what, I want to take 15 minutes to preach this message. I tell you what, hey, in time of impending danger, God gives specific directions, it's not always the same direction. So he said to Moses, The death angel is going to pass over Egypt, but I want you to apply to something. And Moses said it, hear me. I just opened my mouth and some of you never opened your mouth. And I be declared under God, you shall live. And some of you remain silent. 
that is a signal of opposition to what God wants to do in your life with your mouth confession is made known are you not hearing me it is with your mouth you speak not with your eyes you gaze open your mouth and declare you shall live your children shall live your husband shall live your wife shall live your sons and your daughters they shall live i want everybody to say roxy prophesy 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 i shall live You 
Open your eyes and see. Death is everywhere. Young people just dying. Whew. You remember the chapter in Isaiah 38? Because the Spirit of the Lord, there are two things. I want to talk about delivering us some evil, but it's a very long series. But I want Isaiah 38. I hear it. I'm hearing it. I'm hearing it. Didn't plan it. I'm hearing it. Isaiah 38. Pull it up. Isaiah 38. Because you have the power to speak over people's life. An extension of your yes is coming right now. Nah, man. Nah, man. Nah, man. Nah, man. If you don't get it down there, I hope you'll get it up here. So don't look at me. I hope you get it up here. This is to all of us. This is to me. An extension of your years is coming right now. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. I mean, let me, let me, look at the, look at the, look at the, look at In those days was Hezekiah sick near death. Stay with me, stay with me. Give me three to one. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, went to him and said to him, there is always a mouthpiece. There is always a mouthpiece. There is a word that is coming. Listen, the realm of miracles has opened up. The brother called me on Saturday. I think Saturday or Sunday. The brother called me Friday, Sunday. And he was praying and I felt that. And he said, the time has come when we are going to see visible miracles that some of you just too dead lord help me here i came in here all beat up and tired and worn but he said we're going to see miracles and, and i can tell you a number of things that would happen in june i can tell you but hear this one i want to give somebody read it read it thus says the lord set your house in order for you shall die and not live death sentence go on verse 2 verse 2 hezekiah turned his face where towards the wall and prayed to who the lord everybody lift your hands right now and say god extend my years upon this earth so i can do your will everybody everybody god extend my years upon this earth that i may do your will extend my children years and my children children and my mother years and my father years if they're still alive in the name of jesus and now I want you to raise a shout right now. Raise a shout right now. Hey! Hey! Raise a shout right now. Stop, 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 stop. That verse number four. Verse number four. Because this is the word for somebody. And the word of the Lord came to Isaiah saying, Go and tell Hezekiah, I don't know who is Hezekiah yet, but I'm speaking to people. Who oh, shall break him, baby? You see, <laughs> I don't care what the doctor tell you. I don't care how high your pressure is. I don't care how scared you are. I don't care what they say about your heart. I'm come today to tell you what God says. That he's a heart fixer. He's a mind regulator. He's a problem solver. And he's an extension of days. Are you ready for your extension? Open your mouth and say yes. Yes. Yes! Woo! Woo! 
we're gonna get it, we're gonna get it. What do I want? Thus said the God of David. Somebody lift your hand. God said to tell you the prayer you've been praying about. Maybe I'm talking to those who sit in a nice and cute. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to those who understand what's going to happen. God said the Lord, I've heard your prayer. I've seen your tears. And I will add to your days. Everybody say, I receive it. In Jesus' name. And now celebrate, Roxy. Give me that prophetic song now. Take a seat, take a seat, take a seat, take a seat. Take a seat, give me a few minutes. My assignment is almost there. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready for another level. I didn't come here to play church. I've had enough of that for all these years. I'm re anybody ready for the other level? Anybody ready? Anybody ready for the other level? Tell your name, I'm ready. Say, I'm ready. I'm ready. Say, say, I'm ready. I'm ready. Say, I'm ready for the other level. I'm ready. Say, I'm ready. I'm ready. Say, I'm ready. I'm ready. I want you to prophesy. Say, I'm ready. In the name of Jesus. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Lord Jesus. Look at trouble in here. In the wrong day, the devil chose to mess with you. Look at trouble in here. This is how I'm going through June. I'm not crying. I'm not holding back. Oh, June, give me my portion now in Jesus' name. Okay, okay. You all give me give me a few minutes. Wish she was give me a few minutes. Pull up, pull up, pull up for me. And then I'll, I'll close. Uh, some of you are not accustomed to this kind of thing here. Ooh, what day is it? What day is it? What day is it? What day is it? The date. The date. What's the date today? What's the date today? Today is the fourth day. Do you know what the number four? Four pertains to earthly things and creative works. God will perform things in your life. I'm playing that game. I'm playing that game. I'm walking in a gym now. Today's my moment. Today's my day. Today's my day. There are four corners of the earth. There are four cardinal directions. There are four faces of the moon. And there are four elements. Earth, fire, water, and air. Today I'm standing in what God has given to me. And I'm about to receive a good measure, a press down, a shaken together, and run it over will man pour into my bosom. Okay, 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 okay. Let me get it in. Four winds, four generals, four horns, four guardians, four acts of judgment, sword, famine, evil beasts, and pestilence. But on this day, fourth day of the sixth month, six six the number six you have it up there the number six i just run through this with you can't even go into the sermon the number six and then i'll show you what he showed me while i was in the office and we call it a day the number six the number including the fallen native man six the fallen native man and the works of fallen man and the evil of man three weeks now i'm preparing a sermon deliver us some evil it is extremely long but very very interesting because God already showed me that evil wants an expression upon the earth. Evil wants an expression upon the earth. So that's why evil men do evil things. Because it wants an expression. The blessings and goodness wants an expression. That's why God bless you. Not so you can just go out and boast. So he could show the world while the talkers talking about your blessing. God is saying, yeah, yeah, they're still seeing you blessed in the midst of it. How many of you are ready to walk in that right now? How many of you are ready to walk in that right? Six, the number six. If you have six on my notes, pull it up, please. Work with me, work with me. Six falls short of the number seven. Six falls short of the number seven. Falls short of the number seven. Seven is God's number of completion 
and perfection and man falls short of perfection that God created him to be six the number six the number six six day God created the world next day he created the world six days were given to man to work six generation of Cain descendants six the number six six years a servant worked before he could be set free Exodus 21 in the seventh year he is set free the sixth year brings the completion of his work hear me today six times Jesus was accused of being demon possessed six times you read the scripture you find it six times Jesus asked to give a sign to prove himself and six people proclaimed Jesus innocent but didn't do nothing to stop his crucifixion Pilate Herod Judas Pilate wife and the thief on the cross a Roman centurion six New Testament references to people practicing sorcery so important you get this I'm coming right now and then 666 uh, which the whole church world is confused about talking another nonsense the idea that was the mark of the beast with vaccine and uh, 5G is given all this nonsense and everybody's quiet now right because when we don't know we just don't know so here this 666 is the number of Satan and then God showed me this because I cannot go into the doctrine of evil turn to Daniel chapter 6 somebody say thank you Jesus because I want to do this somebody say thank you Jesus man come on come on we, oh Jesus Daniel chapter 6 Daniel chapter 6 Daniel chapter 6 oh. because I'm showing you what is coming after you in this month but it's already taken care of nah man nah man nah man <laughs> All the men who would rise up against you, they already taken care of. All the evil that they want to bring against you, that's already taken care of. All the names that they want to call you, it's already taken care of. When I open my mouth and shout, you roar like the lion. And when the lion roars, it's break and scared. Somebody say hallelujah. Jesus, I love you. I love you. God closes here. I love you, Jesus. You're the, sat in the office there, and I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I already prepared this message. Give Colin plenty of work to do. Have it. So it's not that I don't ever come here unprepared. Never. Never. Always. Always prepared. Always have a word. It pleased Dyrus to set over the kingdom 120 satraps to be over the whole kingdom. Watch this. The number, chapter 6. Daniel, chapter 6. Watch the event. It's, there's no coincidence. There's no coincidence. Watch the event. And over these three governors of whom Daniel was one, those of you who are in authority, there are men in your office who is threatening your position and trying to move you on an assigned position but the devil is a liar uh, somebody hear me who god bless no man because say whatever god give me is mine uh, whatever god give me the devil will not take it uh, he shall not have it uh, you have to start a revolution you have to open your mouth and start a revolution say you shall not touch it Watch, 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 watch. Daniel was one and give account to them so that the king would suffer no loss. In other words, they were thieves and the king didn't want to suffer loss. So he put governors and satrap and excellent. But Daniel had an excellent spirit. He was not like the modern day church people who cheat on their jobs and you know take time to pray when they should be working i'm not gonna get the another modern day christian who say sending sick leave when they're well and they're walking through time not here not here you don't do that here yeah 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 daniel had an excellent 
excellent spirit I declare in this month that you will walk in an excellent spirit in the name of Jesus somebody hear me I declare you will be the head and not the tail and that you will walk in an excellent spirit somebody if you receive it I want you to shout thank you Jesus So God showed me, showed me, showed me. I'm, I'm, me and I is in a con this conversation. I said, you make me prepare this message. You make me spend hours upon hours, research upon research. And then I come here this morning and you turn, you ask me to turn to Daniel chapter 6. Just like that. But you judge. I'm not, I'm only a servant. Whew. It's going to be real good for those of you in positions of authority this month. <laughs> Woo. Watch, Daniel had an excellent spirit, right? Right? So, and the king gave to setting him over the whole realm. Are you ready for your promotion? Uh, no, you're not in church, man. Are you ready for your promotion? Are you ready to be in charge over the whole thing? Are you tired of being under? Are you ready to rise up in the realm of the spirit? This month, your promotion is coming in the name of Jesus. Somebody celebrate it. So you set in him, set in him. The king give thought to set in him over the whole realm. Look at trouble in here. Look at trouble in here. Sometimes you have to keep your thoughts. Don't tell people your thoughts. Don't tell them your business. Keep your thoughts. Woo! Because evil is everywhere. Evil is present. People don't want to see you prosper. They want to see you crawl. Listen, and let me go on to say to some of you who like to say you're a Christian. Being a Christian is, doesn't mean you're perfect. So stop coming down on Christian that you expect them to do everything right. The same thing with holiness that is misunderstood. Holiness does not mean sinlessness. Holiness means set apart. Set apart. That's what it means. You are set apart. It does not mean, so don't question my holiness if you see me fail. And question my sincerity if I do something wrong. I love him with all my heart. I'm holy and I'm walking before him in love. I just want to correct the misconception. So hear this, hear this. Daniel himself above all. Give me verse 4. Give me verse 4. I want to get this real quickly. So the governors and satraps sought to find some charge. They're looking. They're looking. They, this month, they are looking to find something to bring it against you. But no weapon. Yeah, yeah. I get some of you to understand me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get some of you to stand in agreement with me now. I want you to tell your neighbor, no weapon. Point your finger like Mutombo and say, no weapon, no weapon. Are you hearing me? Say, no weapon. You know, the, you know the tall African player who, by the way, has some kind of brain cancer now? Whenever he blocks your shot in basketball, he will take his finger and do so. Not here. You're not bringing that thing here. And then one day Michael Jordan said, I'll dunk on you. And you would see because he was extremely tall. And crazy as Michael is, he ran him and he dunked on him. And Michael lifted his finger and said, not here. I want you to tell the devil, you're not blocking my shot. You're not blocking my progress. You're not blocking my blessing. Could I see the finger waving here? Could I see you? You're not, not, not here. Not here. Not now. Not this man. Not this woman. Just point your finger. No, you're not blocking my shirt. Not here. Not here. Not here. <laughs> Woo. Not in this church. To those of you like not where you are not in your home not in your family am i talking to somebody not in your finances no 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 not in your marriage not in your children life no 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 you're not doing it they were looking to find something against daniel and that's the world we live in 
they always and some of you Christians like that you're always looking to find something I'm going to find something in pastor I'm going to find something in the members I'm going to find something in the up here chariot you're looking for the wrong thing I'm talking to some of you who sit there and always looking to find something they were looking for a charge concerning the kingdom but they could find no charge or fault tell somebody I am covered and I want you to preach this with me turn to your neighbor and say neighbor no weapon now listen don't tell them as if you're dead tell them like you had life prophet Simon say no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper say every time that rise up in judgment thou shalt condemn and then scream hallelujah The Spirit of the Lord just use you as a messenger to bring a message to somebody. No weapon. Tell them again. If you're not happy with the one, tell yourself. Say no weapon. That is formed against me. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. I'm not hearing you. What you said? I want to hear you clearly. What do you say? No weapon that is what? I want to hear you say it one more time. What do you say? <laughs> no weapon that is formed against me in the month of June shall prosper. Somebody say amen. So that they don't see, blind your eyes. No weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon. Feel my father, feel my father. Whew. Angels dispatch all of Feel my father. There are things your unsee, your eyes cannot see, but I feel my father. Roxy, surely the angel of the Lord. I just want this to come in right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. I feel my father. I feel him. the words my god will not forsake me tell me the other say anybody believe it touch me sing it on the say, say. i will not die but live to what Matt, bring us in, we say. Surely the angel of I want everybody to prophesy. Is around, around me. me. Yes, you are. I have no cause to bear. My God will not force me. I am, I am, I am. I am. I am. Side, prop side. The Lord's my shepherd, I have everything I you have. Mercy and love follow me. 
building as you lift your hands be conscious of who is walking with you and I want you to open up your and reach out in gratitude Just worship for two minutes and I'll be through. And I will tell your story. 
Father, we tell your story. We'll tell what you have done. Father, we'll tell your story. We'll tell your story what you have done. We will not die. We will not die. building right now right now there is an angelic invasion please all over this building don't just stare all over this place right now keep it in that bed keep it in that bed keep it in let let the love God to break you a few more minutes please I want you to stay and get your assignment stay all over this I'm 
Someone is just lucky right now. Just be patient on this first day. Angel, I know. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. I know, I know.
this is a prophetic song. This is scriptural. You say. The prophet side, you say, if you're all around me, they 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 all around me, I will love you, they all. In the new time, in the 
get us started, right? You all won't go home. I will act only. I will act only. I will act only. You are my Lord. I will Some moment, okay.
Teach me to be lost 
Let me see what heaven is yet. Oh God. Just a moment as we say. Tell them if they draw nigh unto me, that I will draw nigh unto them. Tell them my steadfast love never ceases, and that my mercies are new every morning. Tell them great is my faith. And even though there are times when they are not faithful, I am still faithful. Because I love them with an everlasting love. Tell them that they are in my hands and no man can pluck them out. I fight their battles. I stand on their side. When demons accuse them and Satan accuse them, I become their defender and I stand in the courts of accusation and I defend my children 
because my steadfast love never ceases and my mercies they are new every morning I bring them new strength I bring them fresh grace I bring them all the things that have troubled them I bring them my peace that pass it all understanding and I will remind them through many manifested acts acts of kindness and mercy in this month that I am their God they will have stories to tell and I will give them testimonies upon testimonies and they will talk of my goodness when they lie down when they rise up fear not your testimony is awaiting you hear the voice of your father and know that you are loved Walk closer to me. Walk with me. Draw closer to me. Forsake the carnal ways. Walk away from the cosmic world. Do not embrace the evil that is pursuing you. But come closer to me. And you will know that I am. Now we unlock the gates and we release supernatural blessings. Now we unlock the gates of June and we allow all that I have deposited in June for you to manifest itself in your presence. Oh, June 2023. Give my children their portion. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Take your seats. I gotta cut this. I don't know. I don't know if I'm the only one who feels a particular way when I get into the presence of God. Everything else, please. Everything else disappears. There is a presence hovering over this building, over this congregation. He's taking care of business. It will be your best month in 2020. I am not asking you, I am prophesying it's going to be your best month. He would rise in the dominion that he has given to you. When you go home, read the book of Daniel chapter 6. Every evil that they plan against you, every lion den that they want to put you in, you will not be eaten by any lion. It took an unsaved king sleepless night to tell his spirit city servant of God thy God whom you serve continually he shall deliver you. I want you to receive the word of the Lord all over this building. The God whom you serve continually hollies Henry and others and house of restoration he 
will deliver you. You clap as if you're not sure. You want me to bring a stranger to prophesy to you. You clap as if you're not sure about the ability of your God. The God whom you serve continually for how many years? From January, February, March, April, May, and in June, He shall deliver you. Stories change, stories change. I give you stories. I want you to do me a favor when you go home also. I try to connect with prophetic prayers, but I try to get it out of scripture and not borrow from people. I'm not so good at borrowing. And he turned me to Psalm 105 and he says, tell them there are things in there that they must declare. That they must make known his deeds among the people. Read it pull out the promises that's your homework Wednesday night the first Wednesday we meet Psalm 105 just pull it up so they would remember so much is downloaded in this month that it would amaze you you love the Lord give him a good hand clap right now I just have a couple of things to do. Bear with me. Are you okay? You should be. You watch a football game and a cricket game all day. You go to work and you stay all day. You watch TV for hours until 4 o'clock in the morning. Say amen. No? I caught you. You take more pleasure in making money than in worshiping God. There is nothing sweeter in this world. Nothing more meaningful and refreshing than to be in the presence. Am I in the right church of Yeshua Hamashiach? I was, listen, I was exhausted to the core. I came here tired, tired exhausted and then he reminds me that he is my strength and then he said I reward efforts so you reward efforts yeah the effort you make to come to church the effort you make to give the effort you make to serve him he said I'm a rewarder of efforts so if you make an effort to fight your way through your tiredness, I would reward you with strength. Whew. We do the offering and tithes. We distribute the communion. You can go home with it. We pray over it. God is all over this building and I want to maintain the atmosphere. So if some of you would have to forgive me if I don't go the normal way. I was never created like that. I was created to follow God's agenda. I'm sorry. If you want a pastor who only follows man's agenda, you have the wrong one. And if you want to be in a church that follows man's agenda, you're in the wrong place. God's agenda is most important. We will give our gifts to him because it's an honor and a pleasure and a privilege to give our gifts to him. We do not force giving on anyone. We are not distracted by our critics. And certainly Stephen Andrews don't care what they say. I get up every day, I give him thanks, I live, I walk, I go everywhere, and I hold my head up high. I have nothing to be ashamed of. I do not live in sin, I do not practice it. I 
I do not steal or squander from anyone. I'm a child of God. And I'm proud to be a child of God. Went into a grocery and I just do it by the cash, I do my thing, and when I'm going ahead of my shish, that's a pastor there, that's a pastor there. I don't even look back. Because I really don't care. When you have a relationship with God, your enemies are like nothing. Hallelujah. How many of you love the Lord with all your heart? How many of you love the Lord with all your heart? You're tired, man. I'm going to plan a all night again. I'll tell you when. And this time it would be entitled Come Apart. It's going to be powerful, deep worship. And you would just come apart to be refreshed. I do not look for likes on Facebook. I don't care who read it or who sees it. I'm not one of those persons. I do not boast in how many people watch the program. I don't care. I simply want God to be God. Are you with me? So I ain't going to put nothing on Facebook to impress anybody. All these clippings and all these drama and all these showcases that we have. There's one preaching here, that one preaching there, that one doing this. It has become a showcase. God gets the honor and God gets the glory. Are you okay? Raise your offering in your hand. It's a good time to connect with this. The spirit of the almighty is here. And the breath of God is here. Father, I raise the gifts that you have given to us as a token of our love we give it back to you you have never forced us as a matter of fact you said we must not give out of necessity or grudgingly we must give because you love it a cheerful giver we have learned the art of prosperity by simply honoring you every day of our lives. Some of us have not honored you and we have paid a huge price for a small matter of not honoring you. I pray today for a shift in the finances of your people. I pray you would open up the windows of heaven and you would pour out blessings too much. I pray that blessing would not just locate but it will overtake and throng so that we would be submerged in blessings. Make us a blessing. Receive our gifts in Jesus' name. Give your gifts. Um, Sister Davis is still here. Where is Sister Davis? Man, could you just push that woman up here for a while? Come speedy. We haven't seen that woman in this place. This is such a joy. We're bringing them out. Sister Mead, you're still here. Oh my gosh. We're bringing them out. We'll bring out Sister Williams. We All the shuttings who home, tell them we bring them out. Speedy, come let me see her. Give her a little room there. Sister Davis. Speedy, how old will she be? Huh? 94? She's going to be 94. 94 years old. Sister Davis is here with us. It's been a long time. Come on, celebrate her. We're glad to have you in church. Come on, come on, show us some love, church. We thank you, Speedy, for bringing her. You didn't get on to me. I had some, the bus is not working. So my apologies. But I'm happy you brought her. Love you, Sister D. Sister D. I know it's sweet. Love of my life. Thank you. 
And we want, one of the things we always wanted to do was to make sure our senior citizens at least enjoy worship before they go to the Lord. For those of you who have families, don't just shut them away from church. If we have to get a wheelchair, we'll have the bus up running. Let's bring them out at least one Sunday a month so that the atmosphere does something for them. Are you with me? They are not forgotten. We must not let them feel they are forgotten. They are loved. I already prayed for the offering. Proceed. As soon as you picked it up, you could proceed. Okay, we just got to do two things and then we get out of here. Witty, you have the announcement and I want to personally 